Hey everyone, it's Apoc here and welcome to my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan the Comic Collector Geek. Uh, this week's theme is uh, the Gogo -Go checkboxes that were a, a feature of uh, DC Comics uh, for a sh short period of time in the 1960s. It was a, a design feature they had for, for a purpose which I totally forget right now but uh, if you check out Alan's original video after you've watched this one you'll be able to get a full explanation of those but there's an image here on the on the screen that just kind of shows you what I mean, the, the, the checkboxes they had for a little while in the 1960s. 60s. So I don't actually have a, a whole lot of those. Um, I'm only actually going to show five books today and only actually one of those is a genuine uh, 1960s book that had the, the Google -Go, um, uh, checks on because it was like I said it was in a, a short kind of time frame window when they were appearing on the books. Um, so I've picked out the five books that I have that feature that so let's take a look. First up this week is Punk's Not Dead number one. Now this one's a wee bit of a cheat because it's not actually a DC book. It's from uh, Black Crown Publishing, which was uh, um, imprinted by DW, or, or an imprint that was printed for IDW. Um, and this has Google checks uh, along the top, like the DC books did, and all the way down the side. Um, so it's it's not technically a DC book with Google checks, but it's still a book with Google checks along the top. Um, so that's why I've gone with Punk's Not Dead number one for the first choice, and that's why it's in uh, fifth place because it, it's not a DC book. Um, but yeah, it's still a fun one. I could have bulked the video out to ten um, issues just by using the rest of this mini series because they all have this border in the first mini series. Um, but I only wanted to show one book from each series, so that's Punk's Not Dead number. Number one. Next up this week is Doom Patrol number one from 2009 and this one's an interesting one as well because it's a modern book it's not a, not a 60s book but it still has the DC uh, Goku -Go checks at the top and um, here we have uh, in the background uh, a 1960s issue of Doom Patrol which um, I guess had the, had the Google -Go checks at the top um, but we have a robot man here bursting through the page uh, the kind of modern uh, looking robot man with the, with some of the other characters in the team and kind of busting through the through the front cover so you're not getting there you're getting like parts of the original cover kind of around the outskirts and one of those parts is the the Google -Go checks at the top here which is fun uh, just kind of showing that um juxtaposition between the, the old book and the and the the new version of the book so it's just a just a fun one for the video so that's Doom Patrol number one in third place this week we have Dark Horse Presents number 32 um, which isn't again which you can tell is a, it's a Dark Horse book it's not a DC book but it is a homage to a 1960s DC book so it has the Google -Go checks at the top of the of the cover here in, in homage. Um, I know it says Dark Horse Presents annual but um, in this series the annual um, they wasn't its own numbering it was part of the numbering of the, of the main dark horse present series so that's that's why it's um number 32 um but yeah here we have this cover of a uh, dark horse presents number 32 homage in a 1960s uh, uh dc book i'm not sure if it's a specific homage to a specific image i pre would presume if it was it would be a flash image just by the way the font of presents is, is presented there um but yeah it's just another fun one for the google check challenge with uh Dark Horse presents I not annual. Dark Horse presents number thirty two, um, homage in the the DC Comics nineteen sixties trade style with the Google -Go checks at the top. In second place this week is um, another modern DC book. This time it's Poison Ivy number one, and this is one of the the variant covers. And uh, again, it's a modern book, but it's a homage to to a nineteen sixties book that had the Google -Go checks. So in this case, it's a, a cover by David Nakayama, which is homage in uh, Poison Ivy's first appearance in Batman. Uh, number 181 which was a cover by uh, Carmen Infantino and in that original book that have the the DC Google -Go checks at the top and um, so in as part of David Nakayama's homage here he's put the Google -Go checks here at the top again and um, so another kind of modern book with the classic uh, DC uh, Google -Go checks and um, this book itself is uh, an exclusive cover to a comic shop here in the UK called Slab City Comics so you can check them out on uh, whatnot or on eBay or other website as well to see some cool books and maybe if they still have copies of this and you're after this then you can maybe get this as well and um, but this is just a just a really fun kind of modern book kind of homaging the classic uh, look of a classic uh, DC cover in this case the first appearance of Poison Ivy in Batman 181 uh, with the classic Google -Go checks at the top so that's Poison Ivy number one and my number one uh, pick for the Google -Go Checks Challenge is the only uh, genuine uh, 1960s uh, DC book that I have that ha features the uh, Google -Go Checks. And it just so happens to be the same book that uh, Alan picked for his number one, and that's Lois Lane number 73, which is just this kind of funny uh, cover of Lois Lane whipping this dummy of Superman where Superman's tied to a table just 
looking shot <laughs> to say the least um, it's just a fun cover but uh, yeah this is the, the only um, uh, Silver Age DC book that I have which features the, the Go Go Checks um, it's, and again it's just a fun one, there's a lot of fun covers in this Lois Lane series, so that's Lois Lane number 73 so that was my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan, the comic collector geek. Uh, this week's theme was, of course, uh, Go-Go Checks, those uh, kind of classic Go-Go Checks from the tops of uh, DC Comics in that kind of specific time in the mid-60s. Um, I guess yeah, this was a hard challenge for me. I could only come up with five books, and only one of them was a genuine one from the from the Silver Age from the 60s. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the books that I showed anyway, and um, I hope they were a lot of fun. Um, if you'd like to check out some of my previous entries into the comic book cover challenge, and please click on this playlist that's linked to you at the side, and otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.